Hi everyone, my name is Kanika Kush and I'm here to talk about the importance of words in parenting. But before I begin, it's very very important, you know, two premises to always remember. You know, we as parents tend to be very judgmental of ourselves also. So please remember very very clearly, number one, parenting is not easy as I think all of us are realizing as our children are growing up and number two, Let's just take it for granted that all parents mean the best for their children and do love them unconditionally. So these two premises are what I wanted to really, you know, say out loud before I even began with the video so that then we can move ahead objectively, you know, and let nobody question their own love towards their children. So with those two premises in mind, let me begin with an example and a personal one. I think that's when it hits home mostly. My son is 13 years old and I was teaching him chemistry, teaching him with whatever, with everything that I have. Now it can be, right? So I was, I think, on my period and uh, he is studying for his exams continuously. Maybe he was tired, maybe his brain was too saturated. So something happened, some concept and, you know, I may have been a little irritated and then I asked him, uh, why are you rolling your eyes? So he's like, I'm not rolling your eyes, you are rolling your eyes. And then I said, okay, what's with the attitude? He said, mama, I'm not throwing attitude, you are throwing attitude. He was being a teenager, okay. And then I just snapped. That's no way to talk to me, okay. And uh, I don't understand. I mean, I'm sitting here and uh, sitting patiently with you and that's how you talk. He said, yeah, so I'm studying, right? I said, yeah, but you're not doing any favor to me. And I'm sitting patiently with you when I have other things to do. And this is how you behave. And then he's like, okay, mom, this is let it be. I'll study on my own. And then he started studying and then walked out. He didn't storm out, thankfully, but he just like kind of walked to his room. Obviously, that time I was angry, but then uh, thank God for the introspection. <laughs> so I sat down in the evening and then I thought about it. And now this is important, okay? And this is what the video is about. I sat and thought, introspected and asked myself, where did the snapping come from? It is very easy to quickly assign blame to PMS, periods, a lot of work. But when you go deeper, then you realize there's more. And what I realized was the following. Before that, I went to him and apologized. I said, uh, baby, I'm truly sorry that I snapped. Uh, there is a reason behind it. And here's the reason that I also introspected and discovered myself that as a kid, when I was a child, my parents used to push me very hard to study. Now that time was different. So it's not about why, what, we'll not get into all that. They were again doing the best that they could, right? So, but I hated studying and they used to push me to do it, you know, all the time. I used to hate it. That time I made a wow, I think that when I'll become a mother, I'll not push my child. Now see what's happening. Uh, my reaction is based on my childhood, but my son is different and circumstances are different today and I am basing a current experience based on a very historical feeling that's what came to the surface and I'm forgetting what words I'm using I'm I'm just letting myself react you know so and this is not the end of it when I said all this to him I said bitter that's why I snapped and I'm sorry and this is the reason why because I thought that I'm being so awesome by being so patient with you right now that uh, wow, I should get a medal, you know, because in my case, that was not the case. My parents were hard on me. So he understood all that. He said, Mama, what I felt was that you've gotten bored or tired of teaching me and that you're going to give up on teaching me and I'll have to do this alone and I don't have your support. He said that. My God. I was like, thank God we had this conversation. So you're understanding words. Words are so important. Words like sorry. The, whenever you say sorry, the other person immediately becomes open to an explanation. You know, that's number one. And then you use explanation and tell the person immediately. So what you're doing then is you're not building a layer in, his, in your child where he or she thinks they don't care. They're giving up on me. Forget about where you're coming from. For that, you need to introspect. It's so important, right? But it's more important to immediately explain to your child within a day or two that this is where you are coming from so that they communicate back to you and say, oh, I thought this. Therefore, what you do mostly, see, I know it's not possible all the time and every child, every human being is going to have their own uh, journey. But it is so nice to be cognizant of no? one's own failings as human beings, little tiny failings, you know, and if we can correct them, then why not? That's the whole point of today's video. Hope this made sense because it made a lot of sense to me. So as always, if you like what you uh, saw, then please subscribe to my channel. Till then, take care and happy parenting. Bye-bye.